Hi guys, it's me again, Gabby. It is quarter to twelve. I don't feel like doing anything today, so I'm just gonna hang around in my pajamas. I get my wisdom teeth out on Friday, and I am not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> Hair, my eye. So I need more info from you guys. I don't really know what you want to see on this channel. It's just usually me talking to a camera, acting like a weirdo by myself. So we've got new neighbours this week and they have a small child and all it really ever does is cry. I don't think I've heard it do anything else other than cry. Oh, young sensei, I shall teach you the ways of the mountain goat. All you have to do is listen to me and ignore it when my hair falls out. That is rule number one. <sighs> there are people walking outside and they keep saying things. Oh, I'm scared. My oven's making funny noises. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. I started watching the the um, Batman movies from the beginning, and um, they were they were really good. The Tim Burton ones were fantastic. Like, I don't know, they were really good. And then I got to Batman and Robin. I I, I couldn't couldn't comprehend what was happening. George Clooney is Batman. <laughs> Who thought of that? That's... No! No. Like at number three I could handle Robin coming into it and I thought yeah it's, it's alright. He's, he's, he's alright. And then into this one it's like what are you thinking? <laughs> he's such an idiot. He just fucks it up for everyone. Come on, man. That and the fact that they've had three different Batman in the space of four movies. Can you stay consistent, please? You're confusing the crap out of me. Imagine how poor Alfred feels. He's the same in every movie. Like he wakes up every morning and there's a different Bruce Wayne in his, in his house. He's probably thinking, who the fuck are you? When did you get here? But yeah, anyway, those Batman were really good and I really enjoyed those, except for, of course, Batman and Robin. That was shit. My boyfriend and I have established that um, the Dark Knight trilogy is really just a documentary on Christian Bale's wife. Because we all know that Christian Bale really is Batman. I mean, just come clean. You're not fooling anybody, okay? I'm on to you. Oh, that looks really weird. I have a very rare condition. It's called gum lip. Do you think I'm sexy? Hmm. Alright, thanks guys. See you later.